Kim, you've been here for 20 years. That's most of the history of Lance Air International. Tell us, just in your recollection, what you remember of the history of the company in, in big timeline blocks. Mm -hmm. Well, when I started, which was the late 80s, um, Lance was just deciding to start a four-place project. And um, at that time is when the Lance Air 4 came about, which was a huge success the first year it landed at Oshkosh. In the mid-90s, Lance was thinking about going certified with a version of an aircraft. We always called it would be a version of our ES, which ended up being the Columbia aircraft. In 1998 is when that part of the company moved to Bend. They built a facility there. We've always been two separate companies as far as the inventory, accounting, um, the employees have always been two separate. Um, Lance then had investors, of course, who helped him get the Columbia aircraft started and then sold out his portion of the company. And, you know, of course, now it's Cessna. All right. Now, over that period of time, the technology has changed incrementally. But uh, what are the big changes that have occurred in the products themselves over the time you've been around? Well, I mean, I started, when I started here, you know, we were selling the 320, and the 320 was a small two-place, you know, four-cylinder Lycoming engine. Ten years after that airplane, we came out with the Legacy. People wanted a two-place, but they wanted more power. They wanted to go faster. Well, with the Legacy, it's, it's big enough to hold a six-cylinder engine, and, and it sees 276 miles an hour. In, in 1999, the, the Lance Air 4, after being, um, it, that we've been selling the Lance Air 4 for like nine years, people wanted more for the 4, so we came out with a prop jet. There were quite a few prop jets built, some people sort of exceeding the limits of what the, the airplane, the airframe was designed to do. So that's when in 2003 when Lance sold the company to Joe Bartels, it was time to design a new airplane. And that's when the evolution was started or the thoughts of the evolution were started, which is a turboprop airframe that's designed for that engine. Unlike the Lance Air 4, that, that kit was designed for the TSI 0550. And uh, the evolution now has proven itself now with the, the Pratt, the Dash 135A, as being the new Lance Air sort of turboprop. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. You talk about the Evolution, that is the newest product, um, and it's just now in the processes of getting the final details nailed down. Tell us a little bit about this plane for people who haven't followed Lancer the last couple of years. If you've talked to anybody who's built a, a Lance Air and then they see how the evolution comes, they're just like, wow. We've got several repeat customers that's come back after building, you know, a Lance Air 4. And they look at the evolution and we're, we're way ahead. All the evolution has been built on a CNC machine, so the molds and the tolerances are much better. Um, there's one side is exactly identical to the other, unlike the old days when we used to carve and make the molds out of foam. The Evolution is an airplane that has very good high speed and low speed flying characteristics. Right now we're seeing about 310 knots. It's stalling at 61. I mean, this is going to be for more of the lower time pilot. We've had a test pilot test fly it and he's very impressed with the airplane. The landing characteristics, it's not, you still, I mean, it's still a high performance, but but um, it's a much more stable platform. What is the difference, if any, in your experience between someone who wants a high performance aircraft like that and goes out and buys it in the certificated world and someone who builds it as a kit? Is there a different personality type involved? I think the one thing that I'm, I'm seeing is that now we're, we're, we're finding people are comparing us to TBMs. They're like, do I want to build an Evolution or do I want to go out and buy a TBM? And that's pretty exciting. Uh, the Evolution is definitely getting up into the, the certified market. There isn't really anything out there in the certified that will do 
what the evolution does, carry, have the carrying capacity, um, fully pressurized cabin for the cost. What about the 51% rule? We know there are going to be some changes in how it's interpreted and implemented. Uh, do you see it impacting your business or are you kind of plunging ahead confidently at this point? Yeah, I, I, I think we're plunging ahead. We have our first customer airplane flying. There was really no problems getting uh, this first customer's airworthiness. You know, the customers, it, it's, it's an experimental, so they need to build the airplane. I know the FAA is looking at these builder assist shops out there, but um, there's still, you know, we've done a lot for them, but there's still quite a bit to do. Integra Release 9 sets a new standard with the easiest to use pilot interface in all of general aviation. Access to any of Release 9's powerful capabilities is as simple as pressing the desired bi-directional page key. Pressing the same key in a desired direction navigates to the clearly labeled tabs with no more guessing as to what a given pilot input would do. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology and the easiest to use page and tab user interface is just one of the many benefits designed to make your flying easier and safer. A lot of people in the U.S. I think have the impression that you can only build a kit airplane in the United States under our regulations and that every place else is kind of ground out innovation. Uh, that appears not to be the case. No, um, we're in over, in fact I haven't even counted, but it used to be over 37 different countries and, and this year is going, we've, we've actually ventured into two countries we never did business in and one was the Ukraine. We have a legacy that's getting ready to fly in the Ukraine and we just got an order for a Lance Air 4 in Kazakhstan. We've had depositors in Russia, but we've never had them take the kit to Russia and I guess this would be a third country as we have an evolution going to Russia. It's, it's very interesting, it's very exciting to talk with people in different countries and to learn about the aviation rules and regulations in each country and and um, sometimes I, you know, there's that um, language barrier that we have so um, they're interpreting, you know, our manuals. Um, we've been working with the French authorities now for a couple of years getting very close to finally getting the legacy certified there. We've got a lot of interest in France. So uh, we're in, got quite a few kits in South Africa and Australia, um, Germany, uh, all over, Brazil, South America. What do you think is in the future for, uh, for Lance Air International? Is there any place the company wants to go that it hasn't gone yet? And I don't mean geographically, but product-wise. Um, you know, right now we're, I mean, we're never going to stop developing. Um, and of course, I can't really tell you if we have any uh, new projects that, that we're working on. But we've got a great um, new force here with, um, you know, a new COO that's come on board, Tom Bowen. Um, he's from the certified world. And uh, I think he's going to be a big asset to the company and to the growth of the company. Um, we do have the Piston Evolution we're working with Lycoming on, I think that again is going to be a, a big asset to the company in the future. I think the Piston Evolution is going to be a big hit. Final question, what is the wait time if someone falls in love with your airplanes and just has to have one? Right now the lead time is approximately four months. In, normally in any of our kits it's a three to four month lead time. So, And then that would schedule you into our Builder Assist program which you would stay for two weeks and get a jump start on your airplane.